Hey, what is up? And welcome to a brand new episode of It's Elementary, where we take elementary school lessons and subjects and just elementary stuff and we just break them down. We break them down in a way in which everybody can understand. Rather, you are seven years old or you are 70 years old, we're sure you'll be able to understand or at the very least, will make you smile, will make you laugh. So today, Samantha, a parent of a first grader, she says, Hi, it's elementary. I am annoyed and I am heated right now. My son's test asked him to write out and solve five times three. He puts five plus five plus five equals 15. The teacher marked him wrong. How? Please explain. I can't even help my child with homework anymore. Oh, also, I love your channel and we don't miss an episode. Hmm. You know what, Samantha? I think I can explain what's going on here. Let's get right to it, shall we? And so if your child got this wrong, that means that your state is probably a part of the Common Core Educational State Standard Initiative. Woo! That's a mouthful. The Common Core is a set of educational standards of learning that tests both English and math. Basically, the Common Core, it tells teachers what to teach, what students should be learning, and how they should be learning it. The Common Core tried to leave no room for teachers to get creative in their teaching, or they tried to make sure that teachers are teaching according to the standardized test and making sure that they know the material to equip them with enough knowledge so that they can go on to the next level. The Common Core, it tells the teacher how to teach and it tells the students how they should be learning and how they should be thinking. And anything outside of that is wrong. So far, 42 states have taken on the Common Core standards. Actually, a part of Obama's initiative, in order for states and schools to receive a massive load of funding and millions of dollars, they had to adopt the Common Core initiative. So many states just took on the Common Core in these standardized tests. Not only did you receive millions of dollars if you took on the Common Core, but also you were the highlight of the U.S. You were known as a state that is furthering education and doing right for its students. You were special. You special. You loyal. I appreciate you. You strong, you small, you very small. Never give up, and another one. Never stop trying, and another one. My favorite number is 11, because it has another one. If you're Chinese, another one. Okay, so your child was asked to write out and solve five times three. Any normal person would just count by fives three times, five times 15, and it would give us 15. So your child wrote out five plus five plus five equals 15. Common Core said, uh-uh, that's wrong. Now, why is it wrong? Because once again, Common Core tells us not just what we should be learning, but how we should be learning. You see, five times three does not mean five plus five plus five. According to Common Core standards, the only right answer is five groups of three. So your child was supposed to write three plus three plus three, plus three, plus three, and then gets 15. And then Common Core would have gave them a big check. Yes, these are the Common Core standards. They don't want your child memorizing or coming up with a short and quick answer. Instead, they want your child to understand what its brain is doing. 
though is kind of like an old lady comes up to me and said, oh my God, that person just took my purse. And then I jump out and I said, don't worry, I'll go chase him down. I'll go get him. And then I'll, and then I start showing her my moves and I'm like, ha, 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 don't worry, I'll get him. Ha, 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 here, And then she looks at me and she's like, okay, he's gotten away now. Go get him. What are you doing all that stuff for? You can go straight to him. You know how to go get him. Oh my God, someone just took my bananas and purse. Man, don't worry, I'm here. Excuse me, sir, but he's gotten away now. <laughs> okay, so we are coming to the ending of our episode. I hope you parents, and especially you, Samantha, I hope you understand just a little bit more in detail about this particular problem and just the common core expectations in general. These are the standards, and I hope you'll be able to help your child just a little bit more with their homework. As always, KIP, keep it positive. Five times three, it's supposed to be elementary.